Oh, hello there. Don't mind me. I was just admiring my nice, shiny, decorative certifications. No big deal. Well, I know you all have stopped by to say, should you learn programming for cybersecurity? Or should you not? In this video, I'm going to go over reasons why maybe you should, or maybe you shouldn't learn programming for cybersecurity. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. Uh. Anyways, the first thing you really want to think about if you should learn programming for cybersecurity is what kind of job do you want to have? Are you in cybersecurity right now and you're talking about your current job or a future job that you want to get? Maybe you're not in cybersecurity and you're looking at ways that you can set yourself apart from everybody else. So that's kind of the first thing that you've got to do. What kind of job do you want to have? Do you want to deal with people? Do you want to be in a security operations center? Do you want to be a penetration tester? Maybe you want to work in governance, risk, and compliance, GRC. Do you want to be a manager? These are all viable paths and jobs that you can take, but that will really help shape where you kind of go. So now that you've thought about what kind of job you want to have, what kind of skills does that job require? If you're a manager, you're probably not going to need a lot of programming or deep technical skills. You will need to know some of the technical information, but more than likely your job is going to transition more to a people manager. You'll be doing things like project management or employee reviews, performance reviews, you know, things like that, deciding how to spend a budget. If you're in a security operations center, you're going to be reviewing alerts a lot of times. With security operations centers, you could get into reverse engineering things like malware. And that can definitely help shape how you approach programming. Maybe you're going to be a penetration tester. With penetration testing, you could definitely use some programming, but what languages should you use? So kind of deciding that skill set that's going to be necessary in that job that you want to go to is really important. The next thing that you want to think about is what type of technologies are you going to deal with, right? So are you going to deal a lot with web? Are you going to deal a lot with operating systems? Maybe Linux, maybe Windows, maybe a combination of everything. Knowing that is really important as well because all these different components are made up of different languages and they interact differently. So that kind of helps shape, along with the other questions, the path that you really want to take. I'll start this out by answering the question, do you absolutely need to know programming for cybersecurity? The answer is it depends. But to actually get into cybersecurity, you don't have to know programming. That's an important distinction. Now, when I say that, kind of the baseline of knowledge is that you should feel relatively comfortable in the command line of operating systems, though. Your Linux, your Unix, your Windows operating system command lines, you should feel comfortable navigating those. Especially when it comes to Linux, sometimes it can be a lot easier to navigate through the command line than actually going through the GUI. Kind of your core knowledge are those shell languages. Bash, your Windows command line, PowerShell. Those are extremely important and they're relatively basic as far as what you can do. Now you can get really advanced in some of the stuff that you can do as well, but it's very easy to create, for instance, a bash script in Linux. All you have to do is take the commands that you would normally type, basically throw them into a file, and 
you're there, right? In Windows, using PowerShell, it can be a little bit different, but it depends on your comfort level. Uh, personally, for me, I think that Linux is a lot easier and more friendly to use than PowerShell, but you can definitely do a lot of the same stuff between the two. In my experience, the most useful languages are gonna be the scripting languages. And that's gonna be, again, your shell and your bash and your PowerShell scripts. Python is one of the most used languages that I've seen and that I've used personally as far as programming. And it's pretty easy to pick up compared to some of the other languages. It's very readable. And I would definitely learn that if I was going to pick a first actual programming language outside of the core concepts. So outside of the PowerShell and the, the scripting languages like Bash. If you're going to deal a lot with web, then you should definitely start looking into, for instance, PHP, JavaScript, Python, these are a lot of languages that are used in the web atmospheres. And something like Python, you can actually interact with web servers and systems and things like that. So it all kind of just goes together as far as what you would get out of it. Now, if you're going to reverse engineer, kind of getting into that realm, so you're in a security operations center maybe, or you want to develop, let's say, operating system exploits for penetration testing or research. C and C++ are huge. A lot of the operating systems, Microsoft Windows, Linux, they all have a strong influence of C and C++, and that's going to help you understand memory and all these other kind of concepts that you can use. Now, again, it depends on what role that you're in, what job you have. If you have a job like a GRC job, a governance risk and compliance job, you're going to deal a lot with spreadsheets, Word documents, and all kinds of weird files like that. Knowing a language that lets you manipulate those documents is going to save you so much time. You will get data in all kinds of different documents and formats, CSVs, whatever. And you really have to be able to manipulate this stuff quickly if you don't want to be spending all your time copy paste, copy paste. Ugh, that is so annoying to copy and paste from random documents. If you can speed up that process, you make your life a lot more enjoyable. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's a lot more enjoyable if you can do that. Honestly, if I were to rank the languages that you should learn them kind of in the order of learning them, definitely know your command line stuff. So your, your Bash, your PowerShell, know that stuff for sure know how to navigate that way. That's number one. If you were going to learn a language after that, I would go with Python. Python just has so much use and it's everywhere in all kinds of applications and you can interact with a lot of the stuff that you'll need for security with Python. So Python would be number two. Number three, it kind of depends on where you're at with your job, right? If you're in a security operations center, you probably aren't gonna to need to know something like PHP. You might need to know some of the basics. For instance, if you can pick up somebody trying to do a SQL injection with some PHP, trying to get those operating system commands executed, then that could be useful for sure but you're not gonna have to know it super in depth. If you're going to be doing review for web apps, then you're gonna have to analyze whatever code is being used in your company. So it's gonna vary a little bit because there are some other languages too, but 
it just it depends on the company because if they're doing let's say iOS apps they're not going to be using you know PHP probably it's going to be one of those things you have to kind of play around with depending on the company that you're in but if you're trying to just see what's out there and kind of expand your horizons I would probably go with one of the bigger bigger languages so like PHP and JavaScript and stuff like that and then once you get into another company or another role where you're exposed to those other languages then you would go ahead and start learning those other languages because once you learn one language it's pretty easy to learn a lot of other languages a lot of these languages are object oriented and so they follow a similar structure they have concepts you know like for loops and switch statements and all these kind of things that might be a little bit different between different languages but they're still gonna kind of exist in some format. And then of course, if you really wanna get into the research side of things or reverse engineering, learn that C and C++. Learn how to manage memory and interact with the operating system at the very low level. And if you get really good at it, you can really have an awesome career. Now the final verdict. Do you learn programming or not? I would say yes. Now, which language should you learn? Yes. Like I said, it totally just depends on what you're going to be doing, what kind of job you're in. You have to, you have to really evaluate it. It really just depends. Honestly, too, something that I've found is depending on the organization that you're in, it could actually vary. You can have people on your team or in your department that do all the coding and developing for you. Maybe you don't have to even deal with the code. Just some things to think about. I know that a lot of cybersecurity programs these days are introducing people to programming. And honestly, I think that's great because getting that initial exposure at least kind of shows you what there is and it helps, especially when you're in a college degree program, you get exposed to a lot of different things and that helps shape where you want to go. If you don't like programming, obviously you're going to stay away from programming. But you get exposure to it, which is awesome. Like I said, it really just depends on the job that you're going to be in. I hope this has been helpful on some insights as far as what you should do and what kind of thought process you should have for programming. And really, it's like a lot of things in cybersecurity and technology. It's just kind of a it depends answer, but everybody's situation is different. Everybody likes different things and you really just wanna, you wanna think it out. Think about what is in use today and I tend to actually go with things that are really popular. For instance, a lot of people use Python. So I naturally like Python because it has a lot of real world application and when you have those broad skill sets, the things that people really look for, it can just make things a little bit easier when you go to look for a position. It just makes you more versatile. I hope this has been informative. If you liked the video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up for the like and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, I will see you later.